Hi guys, welcome to Watch Advice, I'm Neha. Some of you may have guessed, today we'll be talking about the super cool Zenith Defy El Primero 21. In this video, I'll go through the overall appearance of this watch. I can stare at you all day. Go through its movement. Ooh, I think you're trying to tell me something. Give you my thoughts on how it wears. Oh, this rubber strap. And of course, tell you how much this watch will cost you. Let me tell you a little bit about the brand. Zenith is a Swiss brand that has over a century and a half of experience in watchmaking. They're known for their accuracy and their chronograph movement that has won over 2,000 prizes. The El Primero was first introduced in 1969, but it has now entered a whole new era. While Zenith is a small watch company compared to other giants like Rolex or Omega, Zenith know how to make innovative and striking watches. And I'm hoping you'll agree with me once you finish watching this video. Before getting into the details though, please subscribe to my channel so I can continue making these videos and and sharing my love for watches with you. All right, let's get into it. Naturally, the first thing I loved about this watch is the way it looks. With a case size of 44 millimeters and a case thickness of 14.5 millimeters, this watch is made of grade five titanium with a brush surface. The case has short lugs that provide an alternating polished and satin finishing. In case you're wondering, grade five titanium is the most commonly used of all titanium alloys. It offers exceptional strength at a lightweight and it's resistant to corrosion. This watch has a fluted crown with nicely complemented chronograph pushes that are super easy to operate. The open work skeleton dial is simply breathtaking with its blue main plate. This may sound nerdy, but I often find myself looking at this highly detailed dial. It beautifully showcases rhodium plated hour markers and the baton type hours and minute hands in the center, which are all coated with super luminova and glows in the dark. The star tipped windmill style small seconds is elegantly tucked away at nine o'clock. The chronograph power reserve indication is at 12 o'clock. The one one hundredth of a second chronograph hand is placed at the center, which is painted with a red tip with black 60 second chronograph counter at six o'clock and the trademark blue 30 minute counter at three o'clock. If you look closely, you'll notice that all hands associated with the one one hundredth of a second chronograph has red color throughout. This makes it easy to differentiate the chronograph from the rest of the watch. The open work dial is protected with a domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective treatment on both sides. All of these features just pop against that beautiful blue main plate. As you would have seen, the dial is beautifully colored with red, blue, black, and silver details throughout that are sure to turn heads. If you're going to a party that you're dreading, don't worry, this watch will be a conversation starter. And if all else fails, it's got plenty of detail that will keep you entertained for a while. The model we've got our hands on today comes with a blue rubber strap, which pairs really well with this watch. The strap is super comfortable on and breathes well in hot and humid conditions. A titanium double blade folding clasp is used to secure the watch. This watch is powered by the Calibre 9004, which is made in-house by Zenith. It has 293 components and 53 joules. This movement is anti-magnetic and can withstand high temperatures, and it's Time Lab chronometer certified. It's currently the only mechanical movement capable of doing one one hundredth of a second chronograph. The jump from one tenth of a second chronograph produced in 1969 to one one hundredth of a second chronograph is a monumental leap in terms of engineering. This movement is an astonishing piece of modern engineering that provides optimum performance performance and highest possible accuracy. For Zenith to make this watch as accurate as possible, the El Primero 21 movement comes with a double chain structure. This structure is essentially the time display and chronograph each having their independent mechanisms equipped with its barrel and high frequency escapement. The individual mechanisms allow the chronograph to oscillate at a staggering 50 hertz and at a rate of 360,000 vibrations per hour. This can be seen through the case back of the watch. While the time display caliber operates at 5 hertz at a rate of 36,000 vibrations per hour, which is displayed at seven o'clock position. Having two separate mechanisms also allow for two different power reserves. The main watch power reserve is approximately 50 hours. The one one hundredth of a second chronograph's power reserve is roughly 54 minutes when fully wound which is indicated on the power wheel at the 12 o'clock position on the dial. To wind the chronograph power reserve, simply turn the crown clockwise and you'll see the power reserve bar increase from right to left. Operating the chronograph is super easy. By pressing the top right hand pusher, you initiate the one one hundredth of a second chronograph. What this means is the central chronograph hand rotates once every second and 60 times every minute and can be measured by the scale from zero to hundred at the outer edge of the open work dial. At six o'clock is a normal chronograph seconds, which rotates one full circle every minute and at three o'clock has a scale of 30 minutes. Unlike traditional chronograph watches, this watch doesn't have an hour scale for the chronograph. Also unlike other chronographs out there, once you start the chronograph on the Defy El Primero 21, you can hear it in operation. Have a listen to this. How cool does that sound? This is one watch where you can't let the chronograph run all day. 
why? Because number one, the sound can get distracting for some, and number two, the chronograph will stop working at around 54 minutes or so because of the power it takes to operate the chronograph. So, how do you read the time when the chronograph is stopped? In this video, it stopped at 4 minutes and 11.55 seconds. The dial on this watch is a work of art, and you won't be disappointed when you turn it over either because the case back is just as beautiful. One of the other things I've noticed on this watch is a well-balanced rotor. If you shake it slightly, you'll notice it run continuously for a while. I haven't seen that on other watches. Have you? What I also love about the Defy El Primero 21 is that it comes in so many variations that you're bound to find one that suits your style. Zenith have really put some thought into their designs to suit the needs of their customers. Let me give you a few examples. You can get this watch in a black ceramic case with a black rubber strap or a black rubber strap with a black alligator leather coating. It also comes in a black ceramic case with a black ceramic bracelet. If you don't love the black ceramic case, then you can get it in a brushed titanium case with a black rubber strap or the black alligator leather coating or the titanium titanium bracelet. The brushed titanium case also comes with a blue alligator leather coating strap or the blue rubber strap, which is the one we've got our hands on today. I personally love the 18 karat rose gold case, which comes with a brown alligator leather coating strap. The rose gold case also comes with a rose gold bracelet. If all these variations still sound too basic for you, then don't worry. It also comes in a blinged up version with diamonds. For those of you that don't prefer titanium, then you may want to check out El Primero 21 in carbon. Have a read of Watch Advice's review on the carbon model. I'll put the link in the description below. It has some amazing macro shots. Now, let me tell you about how this watch wears. Even though I love it, I can't rock it on my tiny 5.7 inch wrist. The 44 millimeter dial is too big and chunky on my wrist that it sticks out and I don't find it comfortable. But I would say that it would sit well on a wrist size of six and a half inches or more. The sculpted shape of the case makes it feel smaller than it is. With a thickness of 14.5 millimeters, some may find it a little bulky like myself, but others may find it perfectly comfortable. In my view, you can wear this watch to casual or formal events. You can even wear it to work, obviously depending on the type of work you do. But one thing is for sure, this watch is definitely a conversation starter. This wraps up the the things I love about the Zenith Defy El Primero 21. What do you guys think about this watch? Let me know in the comment section below. In case you are considering it, this watch will cost you 18,000 Australian dollars. Guys, this is my fifth YouTube video. And in case you haven't checked out my channel, I've done videos on the Casio G-Shock GA2100, the Zenith Elite Lady Moon Phase. I've compared the Rolex GMT Master 2 BLNR models. And my last video was on three alternatives to the Rolex Submariner. I'll add the links to these videos in the description below. Please do check it out. And if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel and remember to turn on the bell icon so you can be notified of my new videos. Okay guys, this brings me to the end of my video. As usual, thank you so much for watching and for your ongoing support. Have a great day and remember, if you love it, then rock it. Bye.